The Banff Springs in Banff, Alberta, Canada, probably one of my favorite courses in the world. This place is just epic. Uh, it was supposed to be a really sunny, nice day today, but it's a little overcast and uh, actually super windy. Uh, so we're, uh, we're in for a little bit of a tough one today. Uh, plane from the Blacks that measure uh, just a hair short of 7,000 yards. Uh, plane in a foursome, so can't film all the shots, so just thought I'd uh, show the tee shots. Uh, give uh, give a nice overview of the, of the course here. So first hole, it's playing 420 today, uh, a little tight, but uh, just sent one down the uh, left hand side, no problem. Uh, second hole is a par three. This is Ian uh, playing about 170 today, and he just hit a beauty, nice high draw. Just came up uh, about five yards short of the flag, left himself with a nice uh, uphill birdie putt. Great uh, great par three with the mountain in the backdrop there. Uh, third hole is uh, our favorite hole on the whole course. It's a long par five, playing about 540 today. Slight bend to the right. Uh, you just want to rip this with maybe a bit of a cut right down the middle. And uh, just hit a bit of a draw instead of a cut and uh, was going towards those bunkers, but uh, got a great members bounce uh, right back into the fairway there. I'll take it. Number four, Devil's Cauldron. I think Golf Magazine ranks this as one of the top 18 holes to play in the whole world. Uh, downhill par three, just beautiful setting here. Uh, it's measured at 192, but downhill, downwind, it's playing like, more like 165. Uh, hard to get the number with that wind. I think I pulled an eight iron here and just caught it a little thin, uh, but it stayed on line and headed just towards that backstop, uh, just above the back of the green and it's shaved, so it landed. Came down the backstop onto the green oh, no. and then started funneling uh, all the way to the pin. Oh, Left this uh, just about five feet below the hole for birdie. That's a good miss. Number five, uh, another great driving hole. The mountain's a little overexposed there. Uh, it was a pretty dark tee box, but uh, just a great view. A little dog leg left here. It's playing about 430 today and uh, just try to blast it straight at the mountain or uh, hit a bit of a draw around the corner and uh, mine was just a little low but uh, landed uh, just right at the trap, stayed out and uh, had a good run on it so uh, cut the corner and took a lot of yardage off, put me in good position. Um, here's Ian though with uh, with his second from the fairway here, uh, you can see that backdrop now, it's just beautiful and uh, he hits a gem here. Look at him stick that hip out like a pro. That's a class move right there. And he just stuck this and made the birdie putt. Great swing. Number six, uh, short par four here, but with a really tricky elevated green. Uh, it's wide open though, I went for a driver. It's only playing 373 today. You can see the wind in the bushes there on the left. Like It's just howling uh, pretty hard, uh, straight from left to right. Ian hit a great drive right down the middle, uh, fading a bit, and it just got caught in the wind, and it just blew it all the way into the right trees. So I'm just going to try to send one down the left-hand side. And uh, it just started fading back and got into the wind and brought it right back to the middle. Uh, that one went about 320. Uh, left me in great position there for uh, for my chip. The wind help it out. around the trees. Number seven. This is a beast of a par five. It measures 602. We are dead straight into the wind, though. This is playing... 650, 680 today. Um, I ended up going driver, huge hybrid, and still had a, a full wedge into the green. Uh, this was uh, nasty into the wind, but hit a nice one here. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> day, buddy. Look at that baby draw yeah. there. Fantastic shot. Yeah, right about 200. Number eight, great par three here, right against the river. Uh, we're into the wind though still, so it's measured 150. Playing it more like 165, uh, pull an eight iron, and uh, just hit a great one here. Stayed on line the whole way, looked great in the air, and just carried directly over the flag stick, uh, but landed and stuck like it was right next to its ball mark, uh, about seven feet past the pin. And, uh, had about seven, eight feet here for a great look at birdie. Uh, everything's draining off to my left, down, uh, down the slope into the pond there. So I just, I put, just put this about a ball outside, and I don't know how it held the line there, and it started breaking right after the hole. That was just uh, disappointing. Number nine, uh, another par five. There's actually three par threes, three par fives on this front nine. 
uh, playing about 520 today and that little dog leg right so just had a little cut and this one just uh, drew a little more uh, but uh, ended up down the left hind side there uh, no problem wide open for my second oh, yeah, shot there that just landed nicely on so we make the turn after this and the wind just really starts to howl it got it got so windy it was even blowing the camera over off the tripod so we stopped filming um, I had to do a few marquee shots though like here on, on 14 with the uh, Fairmont Banff Springs in the background there just such an epic hole and I just roasted this hybrid right at it uh, I was awesome staring at that ball float down in front of the uh, hotel there wow that felt that good. was such a good shot and then on 15 here best driving hole on the course this, this is I don't know about a hundred <laughs> foot elevated tee box big beast of a par four measuring 475 and uh, here's Ian just sending one Just mashed. And look at him holding Smoked. that finish again. What a stud. Oh, 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 too bad that's not in the fairway for the I know it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to give it a rip. Yeah, it's a tough one when, like, when this thing stops working. Holes on the left, little dog leg, dog leg left there, so. Just aim at that cart. Catch some cart path here would be there it is, a nice help. That's and I uh, got a good one too. Just uh, missed the fairway left, but no problem. That left me about only 130 in. Made par. There's the wind flag on 18. It was blowing. Gave us a lot of trouble today, uh, but we're not complaining. And here's my birdie pot on 18. It's a par five. And uh, so, you know, what are, what are your thoughts on this? These, uh, these COVID don't touch the flag rules with those uh, lifters in them to get your ball out. I um, mean, they make the flag stick twice as thick and you can't pull the pin. Hit a perfect putt here and just hits that COVID lifter. So is that, is that good? Is that a miss? COVID birdie? I don't know. You decide. Cheers.